Hey guys, it's Bang from Up PC Gamer here. Just browsing around on the net, just checking out the new news on the tech, and I've come across some leaked AMD R9 390X and supposedly NVIDIA GTX 980 tire benchmarks. Now, I'm not too sure how credible you can um, take these benchmarks to be, but from the looks of things, it's going to be a very, very close battle between the AMD R9 390X and the GTX Titan X. What's more interesting though is the GTX 980 Ti that we all knew was going to come and it seems like it is definitely going to be arriving as well because right here it says the GM200 cut and that will just be basically half of the, of the Titan X and that's a full fat. Maxwell chip so basically we're gonna get a 6 gigabyte GTX 980 tire now the performance is pretty much almost 30 frames per second on average over 19 games than the standard GTX 980 so that's a decent performance increase but the big story here is the 390X seems to definitely well just kinda edge out the free edge out the Titan X by only by a small margin so when you go down to the 2560 by 1600 resolution you can see that the AMD 390X is still at the top it's obviously not by a very large margin but the trend does continue so even with a drop of resolution the two cards are going to be going to head to head the way things are looking and I mean the gas the gap kinda closes when you drop the resolution. The GTX nine eighty does kinda claw back some ground. It's like sixteen frames per second on average slower than the supposed GTX nine eighty tire. So it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting summer I think anyway. I mean it's all gonna come down to price I think and the two best cars are definitely gonna be the three ninety X and the Titan X. Personally, I, I own a GTX 980 and I don't really feel compelled to get any of these cards. But if I did, the only card I would get is the is the GTX 980 tire because end of the day, 12 gigabytes of VRAM on a Titan X is just ridiculous. I mean, before you feel that 12 gigabyte frame buffer, the the card's going to be crawling to a, a halt, probably at 20 to 15 frames per second. So, sure, 12 gigabytes of VRAM is it's nice to to look at and it's nice to be able to brag about but it's not very practical if you really if you ask me six gigabytes of vram is is more than enough so that will definitely be the card i'll be trying to get but yeah amd they might have a surprise for everyone this summer the way it's looking and um, they do talk a little bit about power consumption it seems that the 390x isn't going to be a very efficient card it's going to be pretty much the same amount of uh, power consumption as a 290X so there's not going to be an improvement there but when you think about the performance over a standard R9 290X it, I wouldn't really complain too much about that I'll would, I would take that in a heartbeat for for the power consumption I wouldn't it wouldn't bother me at all anyway that's that's it for me you guys can check out Guru3D I'll leave a link in the description if you want to look at the article yourself but definitely some interesting news